and then situational factors. So in addition to what's going on in your brain and what's going on with the people around you, there's just some contextual stuff going on that can have powerful influences on your behavior. Uh, one of them is just what are you trying to accomplish? One of the realities of our world is that nobody has enough time to do everything that you want to do. Would you agree? Okay. So then when it comes to making purchase decisions, that's a task, and we want to minimize that task. So for routine purchases, especially for low involvement, we're not going to spend a lot of time choosing a brand of detergent. We're just going to grab what we know. Uh, many times just by color or even by position, don't even look at it. Put it. Have you ever done that? Grab something from the grocery store, put it in your cart, and you got home and it was wrong, but it looked kind of the same or it was in the same place? Because it would, the, the, involve, the, the thinking was so low involvement that it was automatic and didn't even notice until you got home. Um, and then some of the things that might make you pay more attention when you are buying a gift for another person Remember we talked about involvement is safety, financial, or social risk. When you're giving a gift to another person, social risk comes into play, so you're much more likely to pay attention or spend time on a purchase for a gift for another person, uh, especially if it's a significant gift for another person, like a, you, something for a first date, or if you are meeting the in-laws for the first time. Um, and then some people just like to shop. Um, so for them, the task is, is you know, it's <coughs> the medium is the message, is the task is the purchase, the, the ability to shop, having the ability, the luxury of the time to be able to stroll through the mall, um, if they could still find a mall to stroll through, um, is a positive experience. That's a win. Then time. There's two kinds of time, and I haven't come up with a better one from that ticking clock thing. I'm open to suggestions. But time has a huge impact on our purchase behavior. We talked before, time of day. Who buys coffee in the afternoon other than students? <laughs> um, who eats cereal in the middle of the day other than students? Okay, let me come up with some examples of places. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, so I eat breakfast in the morning. I don't eat breakfast a, a, at lunchtime or dinner time unless I'm just being totally anarchistic. Um, time of year has an influence. I'm doing different kinds of shopping tasks around the holidays than I am around you know January or February. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, does everybody here have um, the things that they're trying to impress their significant other or their hope to soon to be significant other? <laughs> or at least significant weekend. <laughs> um, so though that kind of talk, and then I, I haven't come up with a better, but ticking clock just recognizes that we don't have a lot of time. Um, and you know anybody who's like been a working mom and I've got a half hour lunch, in addition to having lunch, I've got to take the dry cleaning, I've got to pick up some things for the kids, I've got to drop somebody off at the doctor and I've got to get back to the office. Um, don't have enough time to do everything that want to do, so that's going to influence the amount of time and attention that we pay to our purchases. Thank goodness we can shop online from work. Another situational factor is just atmospherics, and this is an area that is getting increasing attention right now. Um, uh, that's just um, the mood. So what are the colors? Um, in, in, the, in, the, in the holidays, when I was in furniture in the holidays, um, I would, uh, in furniture stores, they would put uh, cinnamon flavored potpourri out so, and then play um, non denominational holiday music so that when you walk into the store, you smell cinnamon and peppermint and you hear um, light holiday music. That just puts you in the mood to uh, buy gifts, right? by expensive gifts. Um, similarly, um, when, you, uh, uh, when you go into a store, um, there's the physical environment. One of my colleagues at Cincinnati, um, that was her specialty, was looking at um, physical crowding in stores and the impact of purchasing. But just how the store is laid out. You know, you walk by a store, some stores call to you, you know, and other stores repel you. Um, and so when you have really crowded stores, to some people that says, oh my God, they're unorganized, and to other people say, ah, there are bargains to be found here. 
um, because there's the thrill of the hunt, there's treasures. Um, but those are all signals to you and will have an impact as to the amount of time and attention and how you go about solving your problems. In the online environment, uh, relative, the, the similarity is just design and functionality. The expectation is if you're a credible e-commerce site that you are going to be state of the art. Um, you're going to look like you know current trends in design and the current trends in design are always changing um, and going to be easy to use. Um, just you know, to me, one of the big tip-offs is if they ask you for your email address and it doesn't have the at right there, but if you have to go to another page to get the at, obviously they're not up to date because you can do that now. Um, but again, those are all signals to you as to whether or not you should be making that purchase. And then mood. Think about this. Has anybody ever been in love? One person here has been in love? <laughs> well, it didn't work out. I thought it was love at the time, but it turns out just bad judgment. <laughs> Who here has been thought they were in love and it turned out to be bad judgment? <laughs> okay, good. Before you found out it was bad judgment, isn't that a wonderful place to be? You know, it's like everything is magical, and, and we go to the restaurant, and it was the best food we ever had, and the song was our song, and, and you know, it was 32 degrees below zero, just refreshingly cool, and, <laughs> and we were, you know, just when you're in that kind of a space, everything is good, you know, and then the other side, when you're in a bad mood, you know what I mean? Nothing's good. The food tastes rotten. The service is lousy. Uh, the merchandise is crappy. But again, it's the, nothing's changed except you. And so how you feel in the moment has a huge impact as to how you behave, how you go through this process, whether you like or you dislike things. And that can change. I mean, and this, is, this is especially in service industries. This is where um, employees can help manage customers' moods. Uh, it's over uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the mall over there, and, and there's, a, I forget, the, uh, a Vita. And you walk into a Vita, and would you like a glass of calming tea? Well, what's that say about me? <laughs> I'd rather have a shot of Red Bull and get this thing taken care of. <laughs> but again, you know, the, the, the soft music and just trying to get you into a mood where you're receptive to the product. Um, the other side is I just I just remember um, years ago I, when we had very little money, um, I was visiting a friend who lived in St. Louis, and there was a very fancy restaurant in St. Louis that we were going to go to see, and their specialty was Yorkshire pudding, and I'd never had Yorkshire pudding, and it was just this is so cool. So we were all excited. This is like the big restaurant for us, you know, and, and we went to the restaurant, and, and we got there, and we go, We'd like the Yorkshire pudding. And the server said, um, I'm sorry, we're out. And we said, but we came all the way from St. Paul to taste the Yorkshire pudding. He goes, it's not that good anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but again, we have the, the ability to help. Uh, you know, anybody have had been in a restaurant where the server was in a bad mood? And you could tell? And did that affect your meal? It certainly affected the tip. No, if I was the kind of person that tipped, it would have affected the tip. 